Do you think one day AI may allow us to do something like basically crack open physics, so do something like travel faster than the speed of light? My ultimate aim has always been with AI is um, the reason I am personally working on AI for my whole life is to build a tool to help us understand the universe. So I wanted to, and that means physics, really, and the nature of reality. So um, uh, I don't think we have systems that are capable of doing that yet. But in, when we get towards AGI, I think um, that's one of the first things I think we should apply AGI to. I would like to test the limits of physics and our knowledge of physics. There's so many things we don't know. I, this is one thing I find fascinating about science and, you know, as a huge proponent of the scientific method as being one of the greatest ideas humanity's ever had and allowed us to progress with our knowledge. But I think as a, a true scientist, I think what you find is the more you find out, uh, you, the more you realize we don't know. And, and and I always think that it's surprising that more people don't aren't troubled. You know, every night I think about all these things we interact with all the time that we have no idea how they work. Time, consciousness, yeah. gravity, life. We can't, I mean, these are all the fundamental things of nature. I think the way we- We don't really know what they are. To live life, we uh, pin certain assumptions on them and kind of treat our assumptions as if they're fact. Yeah. That allows us to sort of- Box them off somehow. Yeah, box them off somehow. Yeah. But you, the reality is when you think of time, you should remind yourself, you should put it off the, sh uh, take it off the shelf and realize like, no, we have a bunch of assumptions. There's still a lot of, there's even now a lot of debate. There's a lot of uncertainty about exactly what is time. Uh, is there an era of time? You know, there's there's a lot of fundamental questions that you can't just make assumptions about. And maybe um, AI allows you to um, not put anything on the shelf. <laughs> yeah. Well, not make any uh, hard assumptions and really open it up and see what- Exactly. I think we should be truly open-minded about that. And uh, exactly that, not be dogmatic to a particular theory. Um, it'll also allow us to build better tools, experimental tools eventually, that can then test certain theories that may not be testable today about as things about like what we spoke about at the beginning about the computational nature of the universe, how one might, if that was true, how one might go about testing that, right? And and how much, uh, you know, there are people who've conjectured, people like uh, Scott Aronson and others about, uh, you know, how much information can a specific Planck unit of space and time contain, mm -hmm. right? So one might be able to think about testing those ideas if you had, um, AI helping you build some new exquisite uh, uh, experimental tools. This is what I imagine, uh, you know, many decades from now we'll be able to do.